Hi, I'm Steve Silverstein. I'd like to talk to you about the process of the unlawful detainer. It is mysterious, and I'm going to help you navigate through this mysterious process. An unlawful detainer is a form that is about four pages long. It's typed up by your attorney, or you fill it out yourself. After your notice expires, then the unlawful detainer is filed. It's given to a process server, they file it with the court, and they attempt to serve the person personally. If the process server serves them personally, they have five days to respond. If they serve it to a person of suitable age and discretion and then mail a copy, they have 15 days to respond. If they can't get them and the tenant is evading service, then we have to get an order by the court, it's called an order to post, allowing us to post a copy on the door and mail a copy by certified mail. That's 15 days. A lot of times they will do this because the landlord inadvertently says, I'm going to an attorney, I'm going to evict you. The tenant then thinks, I'm going to evade service, so they can't do it. A lot of these tenants are very street smart, and they know the process, and they will outdo you if you do not use your head. So after they've served, the tenant has five days to respond, if it's personally served or 15 days subservice or order to post. If they file an answer, then you have a trial. And you and I go to the trial, and we put on our case, usually about 15, 20 minutes for a garden variety eviction. After you win your trial, then the process goes into what's called a writ of possession. That's the order of the court giving you back your property. You usually pay at this point in time $25 for the writ of possession. The clerk fills it out and then gives it to the sheriff. The sheriff then posts it on the front door of the property and it gives them another five days. A garden variety eviction usually takes anywhere from two and a half weeks from the time it's served to the, about a month if it's contested.